In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ASIO for all with Pro Tools First. So why would you need ASIO for all? Well, if we take a look at the system requirements for Pro Tools First on Windows, and this just applies to Windows, you can see that we need an ASIO compatible interface. Now, if you don't have that, you may be able to get along okay using ASIO for all. Now, as you can see, we are in Pro Tools First right now, and you may not even be able to get this far into Pro Tools First. You may get an error saying that it's not able to find your audio device, and that's because you don't have a compatible ASIO driver. Sometimes you can go ahead and get in. It really kind of just depends on your current sound card, and you may actually be able to use your Windows audio device. Now, if you can use your Windows audio device, that's cool, you can use that, or you can also use ASIO for all. So we'll go ahead and close out of Pro Tools first and install ASIO for all. To download ASIO for all, simply come to asioforall.com and download from whichever link you prefer. After you have downloaded ASIO for all, come to your downloads folder and let's go ahead and launch it and install it. Simply go through the prompts. You can choose these if you want, I'm not going to, and install. There we go, now ASIO for all has been installed. And as a safety measure, just to make sure everything works right, we're going to go ahead and restart our PC. Now we have restarted our computer and we'll go ahead and launch Pro Tools first. You may have a pop-up that says, go ahead and sign into your account. It auto signed me in because I actually had my sign-in authorization saved and then it will continue to load up. Now you may think, what do I have to do with ASIO for all? Well, the cool thing about ASIO for all is most of the time you will not have to do anything at all. It will automatically be the driver that Pro Tools First will use automatically. If, you, if you're still getting an error that says we cannot find your interface, close down Pro Tools First, restart it and hold down the in key on your keyboard. Upon launch, you should then be able to choose the ASIO for all driver for Pro Tools First to utilize when it starts up. So I'll go ahead and let this continue loading up. Pro Tools First has now launched, so I'll come here to the open category and just open this session I created earlier. Now here we are in Pro Tools First, and like I said, most of the time you won't have to do anything to choose ASIO for all presuming you don't have any other compatible drivers. I actually have a compatible driver with my integrated Windows Audio sound card. So for me, and maybe for you, you'll need to come here to Setup, Playback Engine, and you can see that our Playback Engine is still set to Windows Audio device. What we want is ASIO for all. So we'll choose that, and now we'll need to restart our session, and this will happen automatically. Now we can choose the output, which one and two, we'll hit OK. Now our session will reopen. We can see I have an alert here showing me that ASIO for all is indeed running. And this is Windows 10, so it may be a little different on Windows 8 or lower. And you can notice that some inputs and outputs have changed. Don't be alarmed by that. that. That's what happens whenever you change your audio engines, okay? So we don't need to save a detailed report. So we'll go ahead and open up our session now. And if we come back to setup, we can come here to playback engine and make sure we are indeed using ASIO for all. And we can come to setup and go to hardware. And this will open up our ASIO for all control panel. All right, and we can see exactly where things are routed. You can see that it's my Realtek high definition audio device. We can click our wrench here and hit this plus. We can see exactly what we have. So HD audio output, that looks right. Okay, close that. And ASIO device property has been changed, so Pro Tools must be restarted. Okay, we'll go ahead and restart. Pro Tools First has closed. I'll go ahead and relaunch it here. Pro Tools First has relaunched, and I went ahead and jumped into my session. We'll come up here to Setup Again and Playback Engine, and we can see, yes, indeed, the remembered ASIO for all as our Playback Engine. And one more thing, we can actually come down here to the tray, expand this, and you can see right here is your ASIO for all control panel. You can actually right-click that as well to get into it, okay? Just know that sometimes Pro Tools will think that you actually change things in the ASIO panel whenever you open it up like that. So you don't always need to be opening that up. So I went ahead and restarted Pro Tools first again, jumped back into my session because Pro Tools thought we had made changes to ASIO for all since we had the control panel open. So once again, we'll come up here to set up again, just to show you and playback engine and just make sure that ASIO for all is selected and our default output is right. Okay. And now if I hit play, we should actually hear sound the output of our Pro Tools session coming through our computer speakers because ASIO for all routes the audio through our computer speakers without needing an interface. So we'll hit play and let's see what happens. All right, and that, and that is coming right from our computer speakers, which I can show you. I can turn down the volume as you'll see up here. I'll just hit play and I'll increase the volume and you'll see it gets louder.
right, so there you go. That's how you can use Pro Tools first without an ASIO compatible interface by using ASIO for all as the driver to send the sound of Pro Tools out of your computer speakers. Now, I usually use something like the 11 Rack, which is an ASIO compatible device. So if you have an ASIO compatible device, you do not need ASIO for all, although you can switch back and forth between them for various workflows. So if you're getting errors upon opening Pro Tools first, saying you do not have a compatible interface, head over to the ASIO for all page, download it, install it, follow the instructions in this video. All the links you need will be provided in the description below. Once again, make sure that if ASIO for all is not chosen automatically for you, make sure you come up here to your playback engine and you choose that. All right, and then you'll probably have to restart Pro Tools and everything should be set up and good to go. If it's not, you can always open up the control panel and kind of switch things around in there so you actually get the output of, of your Pro Tools session through your computer speakers. So that is all for this video. Be sure to head over to avid.com to learn more about Pro Tools first. And if you haven't signed up for the free version of Pro Tools, Pro Tools first, you can do that over at avid.com as well.